What's happening, folks? Jero here, aka JFro90, coming at you with another reaction. Very special one, kind of spur of the moment because I'm kind of feeling it. Um, I had mentioned when I did the Barbara Streisand reaction of You and I, which is a cover of Stevie Wonder, how I'm having a real moment with one of my favorite Stevie Wonder songs and is ultimately now one of my favorite Stevie covers. Um, too shy to say. Uh, and the cover by Jody Watley, I've fallen in love with. It's the production of that one as well as I love her voice with it. But um, I was saying Stevie and Jody's version are like eye and eye to me. And the Diana version I also newly discovered from her 1977 album, Baby It's Me, I believe, is I would I will put hers like right below theirs where it's still great. But it's something about Stevie's original and Jody's cover that's just a little bit more me. I didn't know diana diana did a live version so i'm excited to check this out i believe this is caesar's palace and um yeah excited to check out the live rendition so before we get to it need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications this song why it's special to me is because despite persona i mean i'm a wig guy <laughs> and don't, don't be fooled this is very much a wig it's just i'm I have limited access to my tools and things. So this is one of my, I call it my normal boring worker B wigs, basically where I don't have to do much to it. I throw it on and it looks real. So yeah. anyway, anyway, um, there's a shy part of me. I'm, I'm an extroverted introvert. And when it comes to me, and attraction and all that kind of stuff. the song too shy to say hits that this this there's a list there's a list where that's been applicable <laughs> basically so i can relate in the song just i know it i know that life so anyway excited to check this out excited to check out diana's live rendition of it before we get to it oh yeah i already mentioned that i already mentioned that so anyway anyway without further ado <laughs> this is diana ross live with too shy to say keep it simple and intimate a few little home movies polaroids all spliced together i'll do anything for you <laughs> this song i'd like to do right now was written by stevie wonder and Stevie's the master lyric writer. He can write the best words. These songs give me the opportunity to say all the words I You make me smile. You make me sing. You make me feel good everything. And you bring me up when I've been down. This only Yeah, I love, you know, it's that, it's that start of that bridge, how dramatic and heavy it feels because it's, it so captures the feeling. I feel 
myself sink every time that moment comes between Diana, Jody, and Stevie with that. And I can't go on this way, <laughs> but I can't go on this way. <laughs> I know that. I know what that's like. I know that. Oh, that, ooh, this is it's especially high school me. See, I'm a lot. I am better at being my ambivert and extroverted introverted self <laughs> now. But um, in high school, oh, no comment. Anyway. I think I like that better than her recorded version. I think I do. And so I hope that that's on a live album, actually, because I want that one. If it's not on a live album, I'm going to have to rip that out, that audio, basically, because I really like that. And I really like her style. I, I love my favorite about that was because at first I wasn't so sure I was going to like it because it's a little bit more sped up. And I like my favorite thing about Stevie and... Jody's version is and my favorite thing about the recorded version is how much it takes its time and how much it all feels like hard to say you know because it captures the moment versus this live version it's a bit more conversational and everything oh when they bought the violins it was over that was a wrap um that was a wrap on if I like this one better this version live version better than her recorded version yeah, without a doubt. The instrumentation of this one put it above her recorded version. And I think maybe put it right up there with how I view Stevie and Jody's recorded versions and everything. So you gotta look for live versions of Stevie and Jody for this. So anyway, really love this song. Really, Stevie, we love you, Stevie. We love you so much. Oh my God. And um, I, lo I love that I discovered because I, I love Stevie's version my entire life. I've known his version my entire life, and I felt his version my entire life. So, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this reaction. More Diana Ross recommendations in the comments. They're, with and without them, there's a lot more Diana to come on the channel. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications on... Um, in the description below, you'll find all of my social media available where you can follow me and whatnot. And um, if you like to tip anything like that, that's in there too. We're still taking a break on, oh, my Patreon's in there as well. But um, in terms of like a lot of the Patreon benefits and the sponsor request thing, that's still a little bit on hold. We're still not back to normal because I'm still moving. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not like, even now I'm at my cousin's house. This is not my place yet. So, um, my place is around the corner, be moving in there tomorrow and still got to fix up stuff. Still got to get Wi-Fi there. So we're not back to our regular thing yet, but this should be up by all that time. So anyway, 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 uh, y'all need to hear about that. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we're, we'll be back soon. And, um, yeah, just thank you for even taking the time to push play on the video today. And thank you for the continued support. I know my this is not what my schedule used to be. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all very much. And beyond everything else, please take care of yourselves and each other.